dynamo db in aws so in fact we have already talked about dynamo db in detail uh, with respect to concept how to create the tables how particular the query language which is designed for uh, no sql dynamo db so how that works uh, with respect to uh, the table created in the dynamo db okay so now uh, so there are uh, different questions uh, being asked okay and uh, also uh, in view of uh, how you know explore the dynamo db tables how to scan it how to do the different operations which are uh, day to day uh, you know operations that are mostly required by uh, you know dynamo db programmers okay so to 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 solve this uh, you know i'm going to create this uh, video a quick video to to, to create the db tables we i have already created the table because we know table is uh, is to create and then i have created the user as well to access the table and uh, more importantly uh, we are going to uh, going to access this uh, dynamo db db table using the python program one two three library okay. so let's uh, just go ahead and see uh, what we are going to do so particularly we are going to see the scan operation using the python program uh, in goto3 library now uh, goto3 is the sdk uh, python sdk program python sdk program ws okay so we have multiple libraries in the goto3 okay different packages and functions which are going to be used to access the aws services and perform multiple operation on them so just go ahead and see uh, what we are going to you know, to access uh, so aws manager so i am going to sign in sign in with my uh, root user so password um, i'm going to use the recently visited service services and db let's say you work my table content so i have created the table already so i have not multiple or many columns i have you no know, partition key or primary key as an id and another sort key as a name so it's a small table and i have a few of the reports in the table so run it you will see and how many reports are there so these these things we already know so so uh, this is not the edit of the this video but uh, i want to show you uh, program i'm going to go to the iam role okay, so to see the dynamo db user so this is my dynamo db user and this is their security credentials okay this security credential i am going to use from the python program to access the dynamo db so go to the anaconda anaconda we have multiple editors in that so you can solve on that one for uh, to explore the python okay so in one of the series we are going to explore the python and all that so this is already running so if it was anaconda is already open so i cancel it so from the anaconda you can uh, you can launch different editors and different other uh, So Python program, so Python and Jupyter. So I'm going to launch the Jupyter node. So you can uh, launch the Jupyter node in multiple ways. I can go directly in my start window. Then I launch from here. So I have already created the program, basically the Python programs uh, for to access this Dynamo DB. Okay. So just to, what we need to do is we just need to create the user and give the Permission. So, what is the permission associated? Give the, you know, attach this uh, policy. You know, I am using Dynamo DB for access policy to this user, and you are going to access this uh, this Dynamo DB from the Python program using this credential. So, using this access key and the secret secret key. Okay. Now, you can create uh, one more. You know, create access using the create access key, and you can download the CSV for use the access key ID and secret key. so for time being uh, if you want to see so i i have program in the desktop this is the desktop and then i have 
Dynamo by Dynamo. So I have created a Goto 3 access Dynamo DB IP by DB. So I load IP by DB is the extension for the Jupyter file. Okay. So you can create the, this program uh, in uh, Python as well. So Python mostly we use the production ready uh, program, production ready uh, packages, uh, I mean production ready projects. But uh, if you are, want to do the ad hoc, uh, ad hoc runs or ad hoc program you want to create and see, then the Jupyter.org is very handy to, to learn, is, it is very good and also to explore new things and do the, some POC and all of it. So step by you can uh, you can run the things over here. So I'm going to uh, import the library from the Moto 3 and Moto 4 and attribute library. Okay. So I'm going to do this one and then I have created one object which is of the resource type you know, using the Moto 3 library. So I have created it and I'm using this uh, object to call the tables and all. So how many tables? Uh, in my DynamoDB, if I want to explore it, so I want to create DynamoDB table name is employee DB. So this is only tables I have currently. Okay. I will create another. So if you want to see, so I have an only one table. We already seen it. If you go to the tables, I have only one table. So go to again, and then I have created one, one function, you know, which tries to scan through the table. But my goal is uh, I want to, you know, scan each and every data first, and then I'm going to apply the filter expression on this uh, partition key actually. So what I'm going to do is uh, I have to scan the entire table. Okay, first scan database and this, I have created one, one function which is going to accept you know table as an argument and then you know keyword multiple keyword arguments okay scan here this is a you know named or uh, positioned parameters for you know the keyword parameters you know okay so in python we have a, we have a two ways of parameter passing okay um, we can if we don't know how many parameters are going to come so then you know keyword arguments we can pass so this is a dictionary of uh, uh, dictionary of parameters dictionary is a key value pair you know python if you don't know list and dictionaries are uh, you know frequently used types in uh, python so this is a dictionary of the parameters that is we are going to pass and then table and this is the function and this is the body of the functions we are going to see what we are going to do in this uh, function so now i have small uh, you know a small uh, function call basically so if i if i use this if name is man so so this mostly we use in you no know, paisa based you know, bigger program so if name this is the starting point of the uh, function the starting point of the uh, program call so if man from the table name employee print i i in scan database table name it was the table name and this table name is going to come here i don't pass uh, any argument over here then i'm going to create a you know dynamo db resource object and then dynamo db is going to call the table function and it is passing the table so my table object is getting created and then i'm creating few variables complete is as a false and record is a list so this record would be returning the results that of the scan scan call okay so while this is not okay while not complete means while you know complete is false okay then this uh, try block is going to code and you know, this is going to code until the complete is going to be true okay so whenever it is going to do when next key is next key in the sense of response or get, get last evaluated, evaluated key last evaluated key is the table in the last item in the table basically response to get last key last whenever the table is emptied okay whenever we are scanning from one to you know n minus one okay when we entirely scan the table this next key is going to be none okay so when next key is going to be none then the scan argument is also going to be you know nullified okay and then complete is going to be true in that 
that sense and then the while loop is going to be cracked out so this bit will come out okay and we are going to return the records so what is the records records is the uh, the list of items okay so uh, we are going to call the try except uh, you know block and in try we are going to call the scan operation scan is an inbuilt function again so star star scan argument it's uh, again uh, so why we specify star star is we don't know how many parameters we are going to pass then we don't know how many how many parameters we are going to pass we just specify star star and we are going to scan scan arguments is again a dictionary of the uh, para, the parameter what we are going to pass okay so this is again going to come so for first first operation this scanning operations we don't have anything actually it's a none basically so we are going to pass none so table dot scan if you pass none nothing then it is going to be uh, going to be scanning the table you know, one by one so if there is an exception comes then the there will be exception is getting created okay and this is going to be printed out as an exception otherwise the record dot extend so extend is the function of the you know list so it is going to be appended into the um, uh, already existing item so one by one we are going to get the items from the table and i'm going to append into this list okay and then next is going to, to be to be called okay what will the next next key respond dot get last evaluated key last evaluated key is is the next item of the table so and then the exclusive start key is going to be last next so this is like uh, when, whenever we scan whenever we uh, whenever we scan through for loop or while loop we are going to assign the parameter like pointer from the from the i to i plus one i you know and then you know uh, the, the 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 last value we are going to assign to the next value okay so likewise so entire uh, you want to explore the scan function entirely you can explore it you know there are multiple uh, multiple parameters uh, scan accepts and multiple responses it gives and basically so you can explore the scan function which is uh, already given uh, by the bordo3 library you know even in the dynamo db table uh, to access and explore it okay so basically what it does is uh, it uh, is accept the table name and then it is going to be Return the entire table. So I am I am printing it. Okay, I am or I in scan database. So one by one I am printing. It. So the records is returning all the six records from the from the table. So and uh, this uh, this you know, I this for 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 loop is going to be printed one by one. Okay. So this is one uh, operation which is scan. So if you want to print every record from the table, you can do like this. Now. If you want to perform, uh, let's say I have this table and I have these records, right? Particular editor and then okay. so let's say I want to print only those records which is you know starting from PBM, okay? For the ID as a primary key, this partition key, right? For this partition key, if PBM is the uh, PBM is the initial uh, expression in the in particular uh, value of the ID, I want to print it so. Basically, I'm going to uh, do the filtration of the table data. Okay. So, if I want to do that, so my arguments can be passed, you know, as a filter expression, the dictionary value. So, so dictionary value, key value is the filter expression, and value is the attribute ID. So, it begins with PPM. ID is the column, the column of the table. So, it begins with PPM. So, PPM, PPM. So, how many reports are going to give you? PPM one, two, three, three reports. Right? Would be receiving right. So I have table and then argument list and passing to this this, this function. So can scan database function the same same function. So this time I have you know I am passing the basically the key, keyword arguments. Okay. So I told you the keyword arguments is the um, key keyword arguments are the dictionary. Uh, of the arguments dictionary in the sense there are multiple arguments basically so i can pass multiple arguments over here but still i'm passing the filter expression one uh, key and the value value is this you know, and key is filter expression so i told you uh, the scan 
uh, operations has multiple uh, behavior actually depending upon the argument. So this time I have a filter expression. So I earlier it was a none, there was a no you know, uh, arguments, but this time I have a filter expression. So it would be so response would be uh, would be the filter data for that particular table. Okay. So the, the other functionalities are going to be the same, and then the response would be whenever it is going to extend it, it would be get item. So it will be the filter item basically. If it if it satisfies the filter condition, only that item is shown. And then the next key it will search, and if, if that item is not getting satisfied, then there will be a no appended appointment. Okay, there is no append here. And this loop is going to be traversing. So entire uh, the, the table is going to be scanned, and whatever uh, the wherever the filter expression is going to be satisfied, the response, uh, the records, uh, you know, the list is going to be extended. Otherwise, not okay. So likewise, uh, this is also getting traversed one by one, and uh, the, the 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 records list is going to be appended one by one, and this for loop is going to be printing that 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 uh, list. So basically, it is a filter expression using the scan operation. So there are a few more uh, functions you can uh, explore uh, basically. So I'm going to create the DynamoDB client uh, from the Google client, and I'm going to describe the table. So you can describe the table. So okay, if it fixes the problem, so I have the wrong thing. What I can do is I my access key ID is this correct. I guess it is a problem. It is secret key ID. Password is a problem. Some so whenever you call that resource, so you need to specify the set of your service name, access key ID, and secret key and the region name you see. So if you look at the region, right? So the region is North Virginia. So this is US East. Okay? And if you look at the you know access key ID and password, so you can create uh, another secret security credential. You can click on create access key, okay? And you can create uh, you can show it, you can use this one. So this, this is going to be a new one. Otherwise, you can download this CSV file that will have two column access key ID and secret access key. So you can use that. Otherwise, you can put it from here and press there. Okay. This is my new key. Otherwise, I have already created this. You know, so I'm going to use that. So go to the Python programs and uh, I use this. Okay. Okay. So now it is equal, right? C9. So when are, uh, now I'm going to call it. So, so this is the described table, employee table. Okay. So every attribute is in this. So if you want to calculate the number of items, so this is again again I'm going to describe the table and then the response and do table and item count. This is another one. So this is but this uh, this way uh, the response uh, if you are going to add the new item, so immediately immediately you know it will it won't come actually. So let's see. I mean, it will take four to five hours to update this uh, to to give the correct result from this function basically. So I we have another another way of counting the data into the dynamic display. But we want to see that uh, doesn't come out immediately. So let me read one more one more report. So there are seven reports if you want to query. So it's automated seven. But if you use this, it's just returning six because uh, DynamoDB, uh, in these functions to uh, behave correctly, it will take four to five hours. Okay, but there are other methods to count the number of uh, items in the, the DynamoDB table. 
So we really going to explore in uh, the next So I hope uh, it is going to help you uh, to explore the DynamoDB. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Please subscribe my channel, and we are going to see more things in in this.